What do we have here? Oh, what is that? Oh, oh, kill it. <clears throat> Jeez. Oh, it's just a roach. Just a Kaiser roach. They call it the roach. This is the big boy. The big roach. They got a little roach, too. But this drop shutty beast is the big roach. It's got a bit of a squeak in the lock. Listen. Well, we can see. There we go. You hear a little, a little bit of a squeak, like a squeaky little roach. Wait, that's a mouse. The D10 on mine is uh, pretty stiff. It's got a tiny bit of detent lash too. You can kind of feel the blade wanting to go, but stopping. Like it moves a tiny bit, like in and out. Let's see if we can see where it. A little bit. Not bad though. Tighten it up, Kaiser. Well, don't tighten up the detent. It's tight enough. But it's very snappy action. Like it hit, it's hit, it hits hard. Spit it out, man. Thumb tab sticks way out there. Could be smaller and still work fine. The forward choil, finger choil is huge. <clears throat> Plenty good to choke up on and work with. I like the blade shape. It's neat. Very wide and then coming down to a nice useful point for cutting. Well, obviously cutting. That's what a knife does. The handle is surprisingly comfortable for being such a weird curvy shape because your hand fits in it pretty well and then your pinky kind of goes down on that bottom one there. I have a uh, large to extra large hands. It fits me pretty good. And you can feel that pocket clip for sure because it's kind of a, it's not a small pocket clip. Could be a little smaller. Actually, the choked up um, grip is more comfortable than the grip down here but it's not bad either way big tall flat grind <clears throat> comes pretty darn sharp very centered no blade player lock rock I like the uh, blacked out hardware very nicely done oh I didn't even notice that just now look at that little roach on there I've had this thing for a little while but I haven't carried it so didn't haven't really played with it much you know I played with it a little bit felt the uh, action planning on maybe dying it a little bit maybe put some red on it or something I don't know what is the steel uh, well, I don't know. It doesn't say here, but it does say who designed it. It's Matt Degnan. Yeah, I don't know that name. It's uh, N690, which Kaiser uses quite a bit of. I think it's really nicely made. It's a, it's a heavy boy. Let's see, what is this guy weighing in at? It is not a lightweight. I'm going to say 4.6. Seven. <laughs> Way off. 5.7. Yeah, it's a fat boy. But as big as it is, that's not really too heavy. It is a big guy. It is a big worker blade. Ooh, how's that uh how's that double clutch? Let's see. No? It's hard to double clutch it. It has a point where the detent catches right there from from there to there. It's going to bounce there if you tried to close it. But the blade's so big and heavy, it just bounces right past the detent and goes down anyway. But how you would normally do it is press in, let the flipper tab hit your thumb, and then release, and then it just falls because it's past the detent by then. Standoffs are nice. Pretty heavy duty looking. Pivot looks nice. No, uh, no markings on this side, and just the um, probably a T8 on this side. I think it is. Yep. The screws are all T8. I think they're T6s. Yep. And the uh, 
action clip. Yeah, it's a nice knife. Very snappy action. Good sound. Good shape. Yeah. Kaiser Roach. Don't uh, step on it when you see it. It's a friendly good roach. It'll help you, you know, open packages and cut things. It's not going to get into your food and mess everything up. Poop all over things like roaches do, I assume. Kaiser Roach. Have a nice day.